even a small weight loss of 5% to 10% can have a positive impact on your general health. Losing this much weight can lower your chance of developing long-term illnesses like diabetes and heart disease. However, in this video let's speak about a few effects of losing weight and how to lose lost weight. Before moving on there is a reminder. If this is the information you are really interested in, don't forget to subscribe for notifications in any newly uploaded video, and stay till the end of the video so that you don't miss any important information. Let's dive in. Why lose weight? A large amount of body fat, particularly around the waist, increases the risk of developing diabetes, high blood pressure, and high blood cholesterol. You're not alone, buddy. More than two-thirds of our American adult population is overweight, with one-third of us in the obese category. These statistics are especially concerning because obesity is now known to be a significant risk factor for heart disease. Why is losing weight important? Imagine carrying around a 30-pound backpack all day, every day. It would be the same as carrying extra body weight. You lessen the strain on your heart, lungs, blood vessels, and skeleton. When you lose additional fat and weight, you not only help yourself feel better, but you also offer yourself the gift of an active lifestyle and lower blood pressure. Now let's see some ways in which weight loss affects you. Number 1. Your energy level may skyrocket. A 2019 study said that the total amount of energy spent to maintain different body functions and physical activity as well as resting energy decreases when an individual loses weight. In other words, Adam Tsai, MD, a spokesman for the Obesity Society and a former physician at Kaiser Permanente Colorado in Denver, explained that being at a lower weight requires less energy just to go about your day. Therefore, as people begin to lose weight, they frequently experience a significant increase in energy. Number 2. Your risk of cancer will be lower. There is evidence connecting obesity and overweight to a higher risk of developing certain types of cancer. Increased body weight appears to raise the risk of cancer in multiple ways, while experts are still working to determine the exact connection between those. Furthermore, it is believed that certain types of cancer have a greater relationship with body weight than others. For example, it's suggested to be a factor in more than half of all endometrial cancers. Number 3. Your bones may change. While it's true that weight loss is associated with bone loss, it's a bigger concern if you become underweight or follow an unhealthy diet. Because you have to deal with the extra weight, it may strengthen your bones, but it also damages your joints. However, resistance training and weightlifting can support the development and maintenance of strong bones. Number four, you may be able to reduce or eliminate medications Retaining a healthy weight can help protect you against heart disease and diabetes. However, losing weight could still be beneficial if you already have these illnesses. For example, you might be able to learn how to control your type 2 diabetes without needing daily insulin injections, or you might be able to take less medicine for blood pressure or cholesterol. Weight-related conditions such as diabetes typically improve with weight loss, said Dr. Tsai, adding that there is a dose-response relationship. In other words, the greater the weight loss, the more improvement. You still don't want to stop using your drugs by yourself. See a doctor if you wish to adjust any of your medicines. They will provide oversight and guidance about how to go about those changes if it's possible to do so. Number 5. You may experience changes in your skin. Skin that is loose and sagging after significant weight reduction is something that many people are unprepared for. Excess skin develops when a person loses weight since their skin becomes larger while they are heavier. Even if losing weight causes your skin to become loose, there are still steps you can do to maintain the health of your skin. For instance, applying moisturizer, controlling stress, and drinking plenty of water can all make your skin feel and look better. Tips for safe and sustainable weight loss, according to experts. Number 1. Eat varied, colorful, nutritionally dense foods. The basis of a person's diet should consist of nutritious meals and snacks. Making sure that each meal includes 50% fruit and vegetables, 25% whole grains, and 25% protein is an easy method to develop a meal plan. Total fiber intake should be 25 to 30 grams daily. Remove trans fats from your diet and limit your intake of saturated fats, 
as these have a strong link to the rising incidence of coronary heart disease. Instead, people can consume monounsaturated fatty acids or polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are types of unsaturated fat. Sometimes cutting out particular items from the diet can result in a deficiency in important vitamins and minerals. A person following a weight loss program may get advice from a nutritionist, dietitian, or other healthcare professional on how to ensure they're getting enough nutrients. Number 2. Engage in regular physical activity and exercise. Exercising on a regular basis is essential for both mental and physical health. Increasing the frequency of physical activity in a disciplined and purposeful way is often crucial for successful weight loss. It is best to engage in one hour of moderate intensity exercise every day, such as brisk walking. The Mayo Clinic advises that if an hour a day is not possible, one should try to get at least 150 minutes per week. People who are not usually physically active should slowly increase the amount of exercise that they do and gradually increase its intensity. A healthcare provider should be consulted by anyone who has questions regarding appropriate exercise levels. Number 3. Eliminate liquid calories. Drinking tea, juice, soda with added sugar, or alcohol can result in the consumption of hundreds of calories every day. These are known as empty calories because they provide extra energy content without offering any nutritional benefits. Unless a person is consuming a smoothie to replace a meal, they should aim to stick to water or unsweetened tea and coffee. A squeeze of fresh orange or lemon can add flavor to water. Never mix up thirst with hunger. A glass of water can frequently satisfy one's hunger between meals that are scheduled. Now, we have headed to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comments section. Let's meet again with another interesting video.